My last round came with Vasconcelos confounded the critics who frequently said I didn't and couldn't play imaginative chess. I cut loose with a hair-raising sacrificial attack which had the spectators and my opponent gasping. I consider it one of my best games. Hello chess lovers, Stolen here and in this video I want to share with you that same game mentioned above where American chess grandmaster Samuel Rashevsky crushes Brazilian chess player Arnaldo Vasconcelos. The game was played in 1944 at the 45th US Open. With a firm intention of enjoying himself, Rashevsky sat down and opened up with e4. Vasconcelos answered with e6, French defense is on the board and we have e5, advanced variation. Here is what Rashevsky writes. I adapted this favorite move of Nimtsovich because I felt that the advanced king pawn would have a hampering effect on black's development. c5. Black is proceeding with his usual plan, is undermining white's central pawns. d takes c5, knight d7. Now, I have to tell you that this d takes c5 is not considered to be a strong continuation. Usually in here white is playing c3. This is the main move, knight f3 can be also seen often, uh, but instead we see d takes c5 and this can't create problems for black, this is not considered to be an ambitious line. Uh, knight d7 was played, but in here knight c6 or bishop takes c5 are considered to be the main moves. Uh, it may seem that by playing bishop takes c5, black is leaving his pawn on g7 unprotected and with queen g4, white can exploit the absence of this dark squared bishop, but black has a strong continuation, can sacrifice this pawn and then can play knight c6. And now if you try to protect this pawn, then this time queen b6 can follow and all in all white is in trouble. Black has a strong compensation. Instead in the game we see knight d7. Black is attacking both pawns knight f3 and only in here once the queen's diagonal got blocked black captured on c5 bishop d3 knight d7 white castled kingside knight c6 bishop f4 queen c7 knight c3 white is indirectly protecting the pawn on e5 now if you play for example knight takes e5 then in the end of the day white has this knight b5 move that's why to knight c3 black answered with a6. Took under control the b5 square. Rook e1, strengthening the central e pawn. Queen b6, hitting on b2. Bishop g3, and queen takes b2. This is the logical continuation of queen b6, but this looks too greedy, you know. Leaving your king in the center and going after a pawn is not that good. Although on the other hand, in typical positions, castling also can be an issue. You should always take into consideration sacrifices like bishop takes h7. So in the game we see queen takes b2, after which the knight on c3 found itself unprotected, but it was in here that Reshevsky landed a heavy punch. Let me remove the arrows and now you can give a try to find Reshevsky's next move. As Reshevsky writes, but what now follows is a classic instance of the perils resulting from the capture of the queen pawn in an undeveloped condition. And there we have it, knight takes d5. As still this king is in the center, Reshevsky wants to make use of that fact as soon as possible. Oops, at this point we first see rook b1 cornering the queen and only then e6 followed. Knight f6, an alternative is f takes e6, and then knight e7. Uh, in the game we see knight f6, and this white pawn kept on advancing with e takes f7 check. King takes f7, bishop h4. White is now threatening, bishop takes f6, followed by knight g5 sacrifice, if you recapture with a g pawn. For example, let's take a look at a move like rook f8. What if, for example, black tries to bring his king on a safe square, then bishop takes f6 can follow, and if here, then knight g5 check. And suddenly, once this queen is jumping into the attack, black king is finding itself in a mating net. 
or after bishop takes f6 if king takes f6 then queen d2 and again this king is in trouble let's go back in the game to bishop h4 black answered with knight b4 but this time black left the e5 square unguarded uh, of course in here even bishop takes f6 is playable with the idea of going for knight g5 queen h5 which i just covered uh, but uh, this time we see knight e5 check in this case once there is no knight this is a stronger continuation bishop takes f6 black's king side is shattered and there is no defense knight fg takes f6 then queen f3 is coming and then queen g3 queen h4 and this is going to end up very quickly that's why two bishop takes f6 black first decided to remove this light squared bishop uh, but instead of recapturing uh, we have another heavy blow bishop takes g7 white pieces are simply slicing through black's army stockfish suggests a move like queen h5 as a first choice that bishop takes g7 is also very strong king takes g7 and now question arises how should white proceed it was in here that Roshevsky made another spectacular move one of the most sparkling moves in his career you know which i really adore please pause the video and try to find that move you will be proud of yourself uh, it's actually very easy to find once you are thinking on how to proceed with the attack for example in case you want to announce a check from g4 then it's obvious that this square is guarded by the light squared bishop and then suddenly an idea can strike what if you would lure away this bishop and it's in here that this brilliant rook takes b7 blow comes to mind boom and this is how you are destroying your opponent's defense uh, black covered the seventh rank with a bishop but let's take a look what if bishop takes b7 then queen g4 check can follow if king f8 then queen f5 with a mate to follow and if king f6 then again this can't help black queen f3 check and then h4 queen f6 queen g5 uh, in the game we see bishop e7 there comes queen h5 rook f8 queen g5 check our bishop is pinned king h8 and another heavy blow knight g6 check i have already forgot how many pieces were sacrificed queen takes g6 king h8 and finally finally after rook takes e7 we have a resignation black king is now in a mating net there is no defense yes that was a very very impressive attack by Reshevsky, which i hope that you enjoyed greatly and will be grateful if you will share with your friends as well let them know about this beauty in the end a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the winning line for black as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section feel free to check out my early uploads as well we'll see you in my next video take care